Hey, how's it going, everybody? Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com. The update for Thursday, February 11th, 2021. Free NBA play coming up on this report. We got a side for you before we get to that, though. A real quick note if you've yet to become a member over at DocSports.com and just want to give it a trial run, click on that link below the video and get yourself set up for a free $60 account. You'll be able to use those free 60 bucks on any of my daily packages or anybody else over at DocSports.com. And again, it all starts by clicking on the link below the video. Great day yesterday for premium picks. We swept yesterday, uh, started out with soccer. We cashed there. We had college basketball winner there with the Iowa Hawkeyes. And we hit a six unit total, six star total in the NBA last night. A real easy winner with Charlotte Memphis clearing the total uh, by 20 points. It started out quick. They never let up. They scored 244 points between the two of them. Cashed that one easily. Talking about the NBA because we look to go to 4-0 and this week in the NBA. I've got a seven star NBA main event on Thursday slate. It is a side. It'll be available on my homepage at DocSports.com when you go check it out. And the cool thing about it, it's backed by not one, but two 100% winning situations in the NBA. Those will be released in the write-up, in the analysis. So check it out if you wish. Seven-star NBA main event on Thursday. We'll look to go to 4-0 this week. We got a lot going on. We got a college basketball side for Thursday. We're up over $4,300 on a current run for $100 per unit betters after last night's win with Iowa. Passed yesterday in the NHL. We're back in NHL action today. We've got a four-unit play in FA Cup action in soccer. February soccer, 6-1 and one so far, up $2,200. And it all starts with the PGA, the tour heads to Pebble Beach. I've got two first-round matchups. And uh, since we went to round-by-round -round plays, we are 35-24, and 24, up over $2,600 for $100 per unit betters. Cashed again last Sunday, another final round play, three in a row we've hit the last three weeks on the final final round and we've got two to start in Thursday's first round action. So a lot going on star of the show again for me is that seven star play in the NBA. Uh, free play, let's get to it. It's Toronto at Boston. Game tipping off at 7.35 p.m. Eastern time. I'm going to recommend a play here on the Raptors. I'm looking at the lines right now and it looks like three and a half at the books that have it. And uh, I think we should take the points here, guys. Here's why. He's been out for a couple of weeks talking about Marcus Smart of the Boston Celtics, uh, but I think they're going to miss him most against a team like Toronto. And while the Raptors did play on a Wednesday night. I think you're going to see another big effort here. They, they finally kicked it into gear. Uh, they've won and covered five in the last six, and they're scoring at will right now. Talking about Toronto, they're 4-0 against the spread off a double-digit win. 23-11 spread run on the road against teams with a winning home record, so they really bring it against these teams. And one reason I think that you're not going to see any kind of a letdown uh, or a flat spot coming off last night's game is the fact that Toronto will remember what happened to them in the postseason last fall. You'll recall they were up three games to two, just had to win one more, and the Celtics came back on them and got the series victory. I expect a little revenge for what it's worth. I'm not a big revenge guy, but a little revenge for what it's worth out of Toronto tonight. Going to recommend a play on the Raptors, plus the points over Boston on Thursday. And again, star of the show for me is that seven-star play in the NBA. We don't have a lot of these, but we do have one on Thursday. It's a side, and we'll look to go to 4-0 and this week in the NBA. If you like the videos, click on that thumbs up button and be sure to subscribe. I'm Scott Spritzer, DocSports.com. Let's put Thursday in the win column.